Hey, what's up, guys? Camp in Russia here. Welcome back, everybody, to another Fortnite video. April Fools is tomorrow. Building isn't actually back, and much more. An Epic Games lawsuit. Stick with me. Here we go. First, a reminder: this weekend, April second, it starts. We've got the MK7 vs. Combat AR funding station vote. But you can test both weapons out this weekend. They're going to release both, and then the vote will happen, and, and you choose which one sticks around. I, I think this is a good way of doing it, uh, a, a test period. So, and, and we get to use both, at least for a short period of time. Huge Chapter 3 Season 2 competitive update, right? Are, are we going builds with competitive? Are we going no builds? Uh, some free rewards, some big announcements here. First, Arena Reset, March 29th. Couple days ago, they officially reset hype points in competitive playlists. Fresh start. We know how it works. Now, though, finally, they will reward players who reach Contenders League Division 5 with a cosmetic in game reward. And if you dare to climb higher, you will receive an additional reward per each division that you unlock, all the way up to Champs League Div 10. So we don't know what these rewards actually are, but hopefully they're good, especially that Div 10 one. I wonder if we'll get a free skin there. How long have we been asking for this, man? Uh, I, I'm super happy about it, but this seems like a, a, a small change that could have been added a long time ago. I guess I shouldn't complain, though. I'm happy we got it. Let's, uh, yeah, it, it, it gives more reason to grind Arena. I haven't grinded Arena in a long time, and, and this might be a reason to do so. We are still in competitive preseason, of course. Uh, this is where, at the start of the season, we, they add new items, new mechanics, and, and then slowly remove them or balance things. Uh, before we get started with the big competitive tournaments, but Titan tanks have been removed from competitive playlists and they have also removed uh, Yeah, vehicle mod cow catcher from competitive playlists and then they have made some meaningful balance changes combat and stinger SMG damage to players and structures reduced combat SMG headshot damage reduced to match the stinger massive change MK7 and combat AR damage to players and structures reduced ahead of donation board voting. That's all the changes. Uh, the, the big one to focus on, go into your game. Uh, I've said before, com our combat SMG was the obvious choice compared to the Stinger SMG, right? I, I'd even take a gray over, over a blue, right? Combat SMG, uh, gray over a Stinger blue. But now... You're gonna have to play with it because the headshot damage multiplier was the big the big difference, right? If you could control the uh, the recoil, so go in, test it out. That's what I'm gonna do. See what feels better. What do you get more kills with? What do you feel more comfortable with? Lightning cups are back. Uh, stay charged. As formats, game mechanics, and weapon themes may change between each cup. Look for the first one this season to land on April 5th, which will be a zero build lightning cup. So we got another zero build tournament coming, uh, and that'll kick off the lightning. Lightning Cups this season. Zero build tournaments. Here is their official uh, announcement on it. Keep your eyes on the compete tab in game and on social media to stay up to date with zero build competitive organizers. So basically they're not just doing this one on the 5th. We've already had the Chloe Kim Cup on the 24th. It was a ton of fun. And with that being said, Chapter 3 Season 2 FNCS is building. There will be building in it, okay? That was kind of the big answer. Are, are, are we keeping building in the main competitive modes? Yes, we are, at least for now. That makes sense. Like, uh, whether this is bringing a lot more people back or not, building is the core component, uh, you know, that, 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 separates, that separates Fortnite from other games. And uh, for now, they're going to stick with that for the competitive portion. I think it'd be a big slap in the face to the, the competitive guys who've been here for years helping build the game as well. But I, I'm sure they'll be flexible. We'll see. We'll keep our eye on it, right? That that can change as the as the public opinion and the viewers' opinions change. If more viewers want to watch non-building Fortnite, then it may end up shifting that way in the near future. Now, Fire Monkeys dug in a little bit, though. What could these free rewards be for the competitive arena uh, each division? His guess, or one of the possible guesses here, recently decrypted tactical BR rewards. Uh, what do you think? We also have the glider and wrap that got decrypted recently, which we don't know how to obtain. Even though there is an item shop tag, it's not confirmed. Okay, so that, that's not a, a for sure going to the item shop, the, the glider and the wrap. Uh, and then there's also a chance that these rewards could be for the Ground Wars Trials event that we t we've already talked about. But his point is that these tactical BR rewards, there's more of them than what, what the usual Trials 
uh, promotions or events would usually have, right? So there's a chance we're seeing some of the free rewards. I just wanted to point it out just in case. Super level variants are still set to release after our big update next week, 20.1. Uh, the Epic Games head messed up and accidentally made the timer for the super level variants end today. That's why yeah, a lot of you are probably counting down, but it was uh, the question marks will remain until the hot fix, or not hot fix, full downtime update uh, next week. We assume Tuesday morning, 4 a.m. Eastern. Uh, it, it should be a big one, right? First big one of the season. Epic Games is uh, under another lawsuit. They, they received another lawsuit in a viral video from 2017. Hanajami can be seen performing a dance choreographed by himself to Charlie Puth's How Long? And he's suing them for basically stealing the hook section of his dance. And I've got a video in the background to show you what I mean. Uh, yeah, we, it's for the It's Complicated emote. And they want he, the, the lawsuit aims for Fortnite to remove that and to pay unspecified damages and legal fees. I wonder, uh, the part I was most interested in, what are, what are the damages, right? How much money does, does this dude want? Uh, we don't get to know, for now. <laughs> we don't get to know. I'll update you to see if Epic Games wins that one or not. Next here, The Imagined has a special interaction with two members of the foodie battalion, right? Uh, I've got them going, howdy, hootie, need me to be your scapegoat again, sweetie? So they, they've met The Imagined before, and then the other one here is, we're not helping you again without the origin sign-off. Uh, and we, we know the, the battalion, all the food guys are on the seven side. They're hiding out right now from the IO, uh, and, and they work with the seven. So, but something's happened in the past with the imagined. Well, we'll find out more. Now, Epic, uh, this is a Reddit post. Epic pulling an early April Fool's prank on us. We're making zero build a permanent mode, and you'll bring back build modes, right? You'll bring back build modes, right? <laughs> In my last video, I talked. Okay, zero build came out, but then they announced that, that we'll, we'll have the default build modes enabled, but then they didn't come out. I just logged in and checked my game today. I still do not see my default core building modes, right? There's arena and there's zero build. I don't know what's going on. I have not seen an official announcement. I was looking all over today. Um, so I, yeah, I don't know if this is an early April Fool's joke, if they're just waiting. Uh, it, it, there might be a glitch. We, we've heard rumors that there might be, that they're struggling to get it back online and they have to wait for a downtime update before the core building modes can return. So, uh, yeah, that's what I think. It's either April Fool's, but more likely to do uh, with uh, an error, a bug, and they need the downtime update. So. Expect building to come back non-arena in just pubs on, uh, on on Tuesday. I wanted to update on that. Finally, here are the exact size, direction, location of the currently closed vault doors inside of Covert Command. They are both very close to tank spawn points as well. So yeah, he's talking about the massive vault in inside uh, of Covert, how far it actually expands, extends. And remember, we have heard growling we've heard growling sounds coming from in there we assume it's caddis monster people have said they've got two clombos locked in there <laughs> i hope that's not the case that's got, that's pretty depressing if so maybe maybe it's a nice if that's the if that's the truth maybe it's a nice a nice shelter in there a nice home they got food and water i don't know but everyone's asking about the clombos we were told that they've been moved to a separate spot during the war we don't really know what's inside these these massive doors but whatever is it's going to play a major of major part in the end of season event and upcoming updates this season right thanks for watching guys take care everybody talk soon goodbye